Hi there. Uh, this is Ian Martin from uh, Skipedia and the Ski Podcast. Um, I'm out here in Sasfay, summer skiing, trying out the glacier. Pretty glorious it's been too. Uh, but today, uh, principally, I've been uh, testing the Ski Mojo. You might not have heard of the Ski Mojo. It's, um, how do I best describe it? It's like an, an exoskeleton is a good word. Uh, it's loaded springs that you uh, put on to give support to your knees. Uh, you know, their strap line is you can ski longer and uh, ski stronger. And, you know, primarily, you know, a lot of the people who are buying it are, you know, older people who want to extend their ski life because their knees aren't quite as good as they used to be. Personally, uh, I've had my own knee issues. In my right knee, I've had uh, patella tendonitis, which has been going on and off for a while. So I wanted to try out the ski mojo myself, and I'm, you know, I'm, uh, <laughs> let's call myself middle-aged. Um, I'm a strong skier. And uh, yeah, today I've been using it. And you know, there's no doubt that it, it does make a difference. I mean, you feel like you've just got like extra power through your thighs in particular. Uh, and it takes a lot of the strain off the knees as well. So, you know, there's not much uh, open here on the summer glacier. So I've been doing relatively, you know, short, medium turns and, you know, bending right down into the uh, turn. And you get a lot of kind of spring back, bounce back uh, from the mojo. Uh, so, you know, from, a, uh, from the point of view of like taking the stress off my knee, uh, that's definitely, you know, you tick the box uh, for sure. You know, th- this is the first time I've worn it. The negatives are it's a bit fussy to uh, set up and there's a lot of kind of adjusting and I'm on higher boots and there's a little attachment you have to put onto the boots uh, and trying to get that to work on the higher boots was a little bit complicated but you know it didn't really take that long I think it probably took me back in my hotel room maybe 20 to 25 minutes to kind of get set up there and then once I got up here just engaging the mojo you have to kind of flick a button and straighten them and that took me a little while to kind of get that it might be that I don't have the length set correctly but this is my first time and you know I'm definitely going to be using it again I mean in an ideal world I'm going to recover from my injury and it's not going to be an issue anyway Uh, but uh, you know, if it becomes an issue, and and just in general, uh, protecting your knees is a uh, is a good thing. And I think sometimes, you know, today the type of snow I'm skiing on at the moment is is pretty, uh, um, you know, generous, uh, easy to ski on. You know, it's nice little bit of soft snow sitting on top of a good base. You know, on those days when it might be a little bit icy. Uh, you know, I think the mojo could be great to stop the juddering going through your knees, or through my knees anyway. So I'll be using it again. So, um, yeah, Ski Mojo. Full disclaimer, uh, I was actually given these uh, this set of Ski Mojos to test and to try, because I mentioned I had a knee issue, and uh, I know the owners pretty well because I've done some work for them. So um, you don't actually have to pay for it, which makes the decision easier. But I think if you do have issues with your knees, given the amount of time, amount of money you spend on a ski holiday, it's uh, it's probably worth the investment.